Hello everyone, welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's video, I will show you how to bypass the Cisco Umbrella website block. If you are searching for this tutorial, most likely you are using the laptop or PC provided by your organization. It can be your school or your company. And let's try to access some of the websites. Okay, so let's say you try to open Lazada. Hmm, it will block. Let's try youtube.com. It was block. Let's try facebook.com. It was blocked. It is so frustrating to see our favorite websites are blocked, right? But don't worry, let me show you how to bypass this. And this is what we need. You will need an Android phone. And second, you will need a PC connected to the same network with your phone. Either both of the devices are connected to your home network or the PC is connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot from your Android phone. And this is how we do it. Firstly, we will set up a proxy server on your Android phone. After that, we will change the default proxy server on the PC to the proxy information on our phone. So, once we accept the website, all the traffic will be routed to our phone and go to the internet and it will not be blocked by your company or your organization's firewall. Sound like a good plan, right? And let's just do it. Alright, so the first step, go to the Play Store and download the application called Every Proxy. Right. So Every Proxy by Godzilla Pro Software, LLP, just install it. This is the interface of every proxy's application and on the top right corner you have the three dot so click on that and go to setting and if you are connected to the same network with your laptop let's say your laptop and your phone connected to the same wi-fi maybe at your home then your ip address will be something start with 192.168.0 normally it will be zero and then dot something if your laptop is connected to your phone via Wi-Fi hotspot, then the IP address will be something start with 10 dot something something, right? So your IP and my IP address information may be different. All right, so do not confuse on that. So let's go back to the main page and then start the HTTP and HTTPS. So right here we have the host, the post number. The host will be 192.168.3.202 and the port is A0A0. A0. So this will be the main information we need to config on our laptop. And in this case, I will use Firefox applications instead of Internet Explorer or Google Chrome because Google Chrome and Internet Explorer both view the window default proxies. So if you change this information, your built-in app or the application that come from your organization or your school may not work. That's why we use Firefox application and Firefox application can override the proxy settings of Windows and it can work independently. So let's just do it. Go to the Firefox application, click on the three dot and then go to option. Now search for proxy click setting and then select manual proxy configurations. The HTTP proxy will be the host information from the every proxy application. So it will be 192.168.3.202 and the port will be A0A0. A0. Tick use this proxy server for all protocol and then click OK. All right, so now we're done. Let's try to refresh the page. Let's try to go to lazada.com.my Good, the result is positive, right? Look nice, let's try youtube.com
Let's try to open Facebook.com. All right, perfect. So far, we have just successfully bypassed the Cisco Umbrella website blog. And if you see the video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to support me. And thank you for watching. I will be see you all in the next video.